peritonitis. Peritonitis, itis means inflammation. So this is an inflammation of the peritoneum. And the peritoneum is the serosal membrane that lies in the abdominal cavity and is the one which contains the organs in the abdomen. The peritoneum has the parietal layer and the visceral layer. So peritonitis is an inflammation of the peritoneal lining of the abdominal cavity. It can be localized or generalized. And you can classify it as a primary peritonitis, secondary peritonitis, tertiary, chemical, and peritoneal abscess. And the causes of this peritonitis, the one that causes localized peritonitis include appendicitis, cholestitis, diverticulitis, salpingitis. And for the generalized peritonitis is caused by a bacterial infection of the peritoneum cavity. And streptococcus pneumonia causes streptococcal peritonitis. Cirrhosis and ascites or renal failure in patients having continuous ambulatory peritoneal diseases are at risk of de developing peritonitis, which is generalized peritonitis. Polymicrobial and non-bacterial due to spillage of bile, blood, or gastric contents. These are the ones responsible for chemical peritonitis. These ones irritate the peritoneum. The clinical features for peritonitis include a continuous sharp localized abdominal pain that is exacerbated by movement and coughing. This patient will be having fever and chills, ascites, ileus, and unexplained encephalopathy. On your examination, you will let this patient have tenderness while involuntary guarding, reflex contraction of the overlying abdominal wall muscles. This rebound tenderness, sudden removal of the palpating hand causes the pain to the abdomen and percussion will show percussion tenderness. Tachycardia will be present in these individuals because of this inflammation and the abdomen will be rigid. Bile sounds will be absent or reduced because of paralytic ileus. And in your investigation you will conduct a full blood count, urine analysis to rule out urinary tract infection, a stool sample, liver function test, amylase and cross matching and clotting, peritoneal fluid analysis, blood cultures will be done, and pregnancy tests, ABGs to look for metabolic acidosis, lactate levels or respiratory failure, erect chest x-ray for pneumoperitoneum and abdominal x-ray. CT scan of the abdomen or laparoscopy can be done to locate the cause of these peritonitis, and if ascites is present, you conduct an acetic tap and a cell count. The diagnostic of spontaneous bacterial peritonitis if there is 250 neutrophils per millimeter cubic and a gram thinner. In your management of these peritonitis, it will depend on the cause. You conduct appendectomy if it's caused by a ruptured appendicitis, intravenous antibiotics to control sepsis, and you use penicillin, several sporins, fluoroquinols, and macrorides. Intravenous fluid resuscitation and correction of volume and electrolyte imbalance in these patients. Urinary catheter and nasogastric tube to monitor fluid balance and appropriate surgical intervention before it is done. Agent laparoscopy and laparotomy to identify and treat the cause, also to remove the infected or necrotic tissue and perform copious peritoneal lavage. Nutrition and metabolism support will be needed because of ileus and inflammatory response modulators will be administered for you to limit the extent of inflammation. Drainage of the abscess if it's because of peritoneal abscess. And the complications that can arise from this peritonitis are septic shock, respiratory or multi-organ failure, paralytic illness, wound infection in case you've done surgery, and tertiary peritonitis can occur. Abscesses and photopyemia 